Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. My name is Ohima Nanama, and this is Afro 614 Multimedia. And this program is called Bonnie's Quick Word. If you just joined us, I would like for you to share the page, invite somebody, like the page, get somebody on, because tonight is going to be an amazing evening. There is a word for you and I that God is going to use a great minister of God. God, that God has prepared for us to get to know him from a deeper level. So please um, use this moment to share, like, invite somebody on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing so and sharing to your broadcast, sharing to your friends, sharing to your status, sharing to um, the messengers and everywhere that anybody can access um, this link. I'm so grateful for you taking this time off to do that. Um, tonight is just going to be an amazing time because um, we have a great man of God that God has set apart this afternoon to to help us get to know him on a deeper level, to get to know him on a on with a story on how God delivered him and how God is using him in this season and in this end time. So I'm just so grateful. I want you to just sit back, grab yourself um, some snacks, you know, and then just go with the flow and how um, God is going to enlighten you with this kind of uplifting stories, this, this kind of a, like a life event of this great man of God that you will also to know that God is not done with you. The Bible said that um, that Jesus is knocking at the door of our hearts and if we hear his voice, he will open the door and come in and leave with us. So if we give ourselves the chance, God is going to use us. God is going to um, prepare us for the kingdom and for what he has for us. I want us to take a quick short prayer and um, and then we will zoom off. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Father, we thank you for such a time as this. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for not leaving us, as your word said uh, in, in, in Psalm 23, that uh, the Lord is my shepherd that we will not want, uh, that he leads us beside the stewardess and restores our soul. Thank you for doing that for us. It is much, O oh Lord. You've taken us through January to this time. Father, there are many were the plans of man. Many were the plans of the enemy, but you, the Lord, you fought for us, you defended us, you shielded us. Uh, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Father, I pray that you will take over the section. Uh, Father, that I pray that you will take away every nerve, you will take away every canality, you will take away every knowledge that is not of yours, uh, and you, the Lord, will take over this platform. Uh, we pray that the ones that will watch and even watch later, that this word, O oh Lord, will become a, a seed that will take them off of their comfort zone. Oh, this word will be a seed. Father, that you will make them have hope. Even in their season of hopelessness. Even in their season of shame. Even in their season of not knowing what to go. In the season of uncertainty, oh Lord. That you, the Lord, will show forth and show greatly, greatly in their lives. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. I would like to invite this great man of God. I got to know him a few years ago because, you know, those times I was like in, 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 in the world, let me put it that way. And there was this song that he had that I felt like this, this was the love song that, that, you know, those, those, you know, 
the people used to toast us with those songs, you know. They, they had that there is a saying said, Oh baby, we are catching me and all their fun from him, you know. So the his music was kind of a, a lot to me. And and when I got to know how God is transforming this man, I'm like, oh my God, this is such a great testimony. And I do not want this testimony to be hidden from you and I that we are always on board this quick word, always listening for inspiration and listening to know what God is doing and what God is about to do. I want you to also have a feel of this man's life, a feel of this man, um, his Damascus story, his, his journey, even in the world, even in, in coming into um, the, the, the Christian dom and being a disciple. So I would like to get Minister Mike Kessie on. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good afternoon. Wow. Good afternoon. Okay, so it's evening here. Good evening. So good, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Nina. Nina. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very good. I'm doing very good. And you? I'm I trust doing, you also doing good. You're I'm looking doing beautiful. Very well. oh, you are thank in you. Christ. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just yeah. excited that when I reached out to you, you were like, "Girl, I got you," and and we've been communicating since. And I'm, I'm yeah. so in awe with what God is doing with you, mm-hmm. because you know, many see certain faces of our lives and don't even understand what we go through and how things are happening behind the scenes so yeah. i'm so grateful for being here i would like for us to just zoom on um i want us to know you because we know my kessie before even becoming a minister kessie so who are you who are you Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you for this opportunity. I want to thank God for this great moment that we're about to spend in his presence. And I thank your listeners. I thank your watch. Everyone watching from everywhere, all over this world, I say thank you and God bless you so much. Amen. So my Kesse, my Kesse is actually my surname. Kesse is actually my surname. Oh, wow. And, um, Yes, so my first name is Michael Kesse Frimpon. Michael Kesse mm-hmm. Frimpon. Mm-hmm. And I'm from the eastern side of Ghana, quote to be precise. Also, quote for the uh, business, business and all that, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from Kobe PRC, and uh, I went to uh, prim- I've, I've lived like 20 years of my life in Dansuman in Accra. Mm-hmm. So I, I went to secondary school from uh, Kindergarten to primary school uh, to JSS uh, in in Dansuma, that is mm. Risk Memorial School. Yes, and from there I went to Inkoko Secondary, um, that's the Eastern Region, and uh, that is where I attended SS. And wow. I came back and I enrolled for a tertiary. I went to Methodist University, but due to some one or two Pakokba movement, I had to defer the course. <laughs> and uh, you know, I promised myself going back, but I never did. Which mm. school there? Yeah, so I'm yeah. hoping. Yes, I'm hoping to. And you to me there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from from there, uh, yes. Um, as that's where the, the music journey began mm. and yeah yes. wow 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 so i wanna I, I want us to get into the other side of um mr mm-hmm. kesey now that i know that that is your surname um what led you into the secular music and even into the genre of r&b because that's how i got to know you that's wow. what the world know you to be as saying you being into the secular music what led you there okay so i think it was this reality shows reality shows you know with rea- reality shows most at times they don't uh, encourage singing gospel songs mm. because they feel 
you know, most gospel songs, uh, sorry, so you can sing the dada, sing songs that you know there are dynamics in it. You know, back then our gospel music was just, you know, already. <laughs> Hello. You call mommy. Like it was straight, straight scene and error. Mm -hmm. Am I on? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. I believe it's the network in Ghana, but then can we have a little bit of patience as he situates himself so that he can we can all hear him. One thing that I love about what he's saying is, you know, life, nothing has an end, you know. When he came to him going to school and and he was not able to even finish the university, yeah, the I said, I'm going to go let's back. Let's say, the secular songs. Yes. Hello. I can hear you. All right. I perfect. Perfect. So let's zoom in from where you you were ending as yes. to the um, reality show. Yes. So I was saying that it was uh, the reason why I, I found myself doing the R&B, the secular thing was that it, it, it was influenced by the reality shows because mm. after, after mentor, after Project Fame, you know, we were, we, we used to do love songs. We used to sing a lot of like the Chris Browns, the R. Kelly's, the Michael Jackson's. Mm -hmm. So definitely after, you know, some, wh wherever you find yourself, you, you at the end of the day end up being like them, mm -hmm. copying mm -hmm. them and living like them. So mm -hmm. shot, the reality show shot me to, you know, singing the secular songs, the R&Bs and all that. Yeah. Wow. So it was, it was that from the reality shows. Wow, so it wasn't even like a choice, but but you you were doing so well. You were doing so well. Um, with Project Fame, I remember I was in Ghana, I watched it. At that time, you had a little bit of fro with a suede on your side. Yeah, yeah. You were... <laughs> yeah, you were, you were, you, you were killing it. You were killing it. And, and yeah, that's right. I, I was. I was I was watching one of my my old pictures and I was like ah I probably need I should I have died with they dyed my hair with some yeah. like they they bonded it and some afro oh <laughs> God has been good God has been good God has been good and good. and wait with, with the love song it got to a point where you were, you had you had a song with Sakodie yeah. yeah. yes yes. That was that yeah, was the song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, so. Peter Royal. Oh yes, yes, yeah. And that time, you know, I thought that that was for um that um you know there was this um sanitary part Peter that Royal. was royal something. So in my mind, I thought that you were you were just having commercial with them until like as I started to know that this song was a commercial song and everybody was singing it all over the. I was like, this song speaks a lot, you know. It it was one of the songs that 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 can just get me because like the way you were playing your guitar, wait. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful, and um, you you've paid your dues in the music industry. You've really done your best. Hello, Minister Kese. I can hear you. All right, perfect, perfect. Yeah, you were frozen for a little bit. <laughs> I wanted us to okay. get into this point. Can you tell us about your Damascus story? Because if you were in this, you you were open to the world with music. Everybody got to know mm -hmm. Cassie. You you had songs with great men, like great great musicians yes. speaking yes. from the life of okay. Cassie and um sorry um Sarkodie and the rest. That's you were you were yeah. out there so. So what what became the turn around? Because I know that you were making money, you had all everything, every hey. every luxury, <laughs> every luxury that came with fame. Yeah. What 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 just turned everything around? You know, uh, before I say that, I want I want to make this 
this uh, very key point. Uh, fame is good, uh, popularity, you know, money and wealth is good, but mm. the most important thing is the source, where it's mm. coming from. And the second thing too is, whilst you are enjoying it, are you enjoying it for your 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 flesh, yourself, or pleasing man, or are you doing it for God? Are you happy in the Lord? Mm. Uh, so I was, I was enjoying, I was having fun, I was doing everything I could do, anything in so I have to do with, <laughs> and you know, uh, when it comes to the secular, to when like because of the performances, the choice of songs, where we at the end of the day step our foot or our feet to where we present ourselves at the end of the day, you know, you you find you find yourself wanting not wanting to be there but you'll be there because of what you were doing mm. and i feel back to what you were saying i think it, it it is it was something that was was destined for me to to come into contact with it mm. uh, the calling was something that it was really there because even when i was doing the secular i was still having this um personal inner conviction of mm. you know as i said oh, sorry i i i although i all right, please bear with us with the network. Yes, yes, yes. Minister Kersey was like, he's always like, can I use the word a church rat, even though he was um, um, singing the secular music and doing all that. But and th that's one thing that I've always realized that when the Bible said, I train up a child the way she go and he goes, he will not depart from it. It doesn't matter where we veer off, when, when yeah. the foundation is there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. Yeah. So I caught uh, you from where, where the foundation is. So the yeah, foundation so, is very necessary. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I was saying, I found myself like to be in church, I was baptized. Mm. It wasn't like uh, people people ask me, say, Oh, it's a banner of a Yesu. Mm -hmm. So, when did you get born again? Oh, they, I'm like, No, I was born again, but see, you know, there, there's, a, there's a vast difference between a follower of Christ and a believer of Christ. Mm. You, you can follow Christ, but the probability for you not believing Him is like 100, uh, 100 or 90%. Mm. So, I used to. He used to be a follower of Christ and not a believer of Christ. Go into, like, okay, I don't want to do. Yes, we will. He will be back on, and with in a few minutes, he was talking about he being just a follower of Christ and not being a believer. And I was as I was just saying from where I left off, the foundation is what matters. It doesn't matter where we veer off as believers mm -hmm. or as as children of God. God always finds a way to come look for us. The Bible said that uh, that he will leave the ninety nine and come get the one that has veered off the cliff yeah. you know sometimes we go very far not even knowing that we have gone far but then god comes in and and delivers us so yes minister mike Cassie is back here i want him to yeah. just flow with where he ended off so everybody can be a part of the story yes so um where did I even leave? <laughs> you say you were like, oh, you were, you, you were not, you like there was a vast difference between a believer and a follower of God. Yes, yes, yes. Between a believer and a, because you can follow Christ. There were a lot of multitude that followed Jesus because mm -hmm. of the miracles that he was doing. Yes. And they all left him. And, you know, he had to ask the disciples that, are you guys also leaving? And mm. they had to tell him. And we don't have anywhere to go. So I used to go back there. That, that zeal, that passion wasn't like loving, loving Christ. Mm -hmm. We're just going to church, just going to church per se. Mm -hmm. So basically mm -hmm. it was, it wasn't like, a, like, a, 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 like enough feeling to say, see, I know the love yes. wasn't there. Okay. 
go, my mom is going to church. Mm-hmm. Hey, say young sorry, <laughs> she needs to drag me to church. Hey, when it's time for offertory, you know, budget coins, no You know, mm-hmm. we don't do it from 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 our heart. We will just do it like eye service doing, mm-hmm. and I didn't know because I thought it was a religion. I thought Christianity was a religion. Mm-hmm. Since we are my 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 parents are doing it, I also have to do it. Yeah. Because yeah. if I don't go to church, they will beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you even eat. <laughs> you will not even eat. <laughs> so, yes, you knew God, you were all that. But then what became that point that you were like, I'm done. Yes. Now I want to focus on this God that I've always known. I want to build this relationship with him. Because to me, I feel like when you take God everything become, become becomes different so you yes. the switch is difficult even though you know him and after the switch there was a lot of pruning a lot of things so uh, what yeah, made yeah, you yeah. be like now i'm ready for all these um to the furnace situation yes because if you see if god really wants to work with you and use you um until mm you you know start paying attention to him mm. until you start being obedient i used to meet a lot of prophets when i go to church mm. you know this prophet will call me prophesy to me you need to stop doing a secular music you god has called you to to do his work in fact you're a man of god what you are doing you know there'll be a time you have to drop it and come uh, I'll, I'll meet this stranger the person will tell me the same thing even at the night club when we are popping <laughs> People will just tell me, hey, but you you know the thing you are doing, you're a man of God, a man of God. Said, we were the two of us, we are chilling. You are to tell me, <laughs> you, you, you yes. <laughs> ah, so it, it, was, it was because the fame was there, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. You were everywhere with the A-list artists and all that. So and I and I used to have a lot of dreams, like end time dreams. Mm. I did not know that those dreams were dreams that God was trying to fix them on my heart and to communicate to me that this is what i want you to do because yes. i was young and those time when i tell people oh bro i had a dream about this oh it was the bengu you ate last night <laughs> that is why you're having this kind of dream you know people always discourage us so mm-hmm. anytime i have those dreams i don't share them anymore mm. and i just get over it oh hey, one of those things so I was having self convictions. I was having like dreams. Prophets were prophesying to me, and I was being stubborn mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I'm like, I can't leave all these things there mm-hmm. and just come and sing for God. Like, who does that? That is what I used to ask myself. Like, who does that? Obi amatu eya mahetia. Now I have to drop all these things. Oh, that and, yeah. You know, and. and it was it was very difficult for me there was a point uh, a time in my life i was like no i can't do this i can't do this well i had a very serious dream i call it dream in a dream in a dream whereby you could see yourself lying, you could see your body lying down in the dream and i was having a communication with someone on the throne i couldn't see this person but mm. all i could see all i could hear was a voice talking to me and i could see the throne Mm, and mm, yes and glory. yes and there were there were there were two people one side of the people um there was a squad on my right and these people it was like we all knew that there was an appointed time for us especially it, it was six o'clock we all know that we are going to this place you know to like for judgment i said yeah mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yes so people were having fun chilling people were enjoying clubbing really having fun and people another side of the group too they weren't many but they were also having fun they were in white having fun and when there was time everybody went to that room <coughs> sorry and we were all being judged and i could hear myself speaking to the throne that so it was like a bargaining a bargaining bargain yeah, yeah. okay so so where you are you can see yourself you see the people here how they are suffering how they are screaming there is no turning back mm-hmm. but you have to decide on your own would you come back or would you and there are god shows mercy at yes. that particular time yes. yes it depends on 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 what you want to do mm. 
So you choose it. Would you want to choose the happiness? Would you want to be here for? And where I was wasn't good for me at all. And I could see people suffering. I could see people wailing. I could see people crying, shedding tears because there was no turning back. So the voice was telling me, if I leave you to go back to the body you see there, then you have to do do my work for me. So I had so it was a serious beginning. So I had to say yes, I will do it before I. I was I, I was I was left to let me, let me take this opportunity and say something. When God owns our spirit, and the reason why why we have flesh on this earth, it is because He has given us our choice. Our will is in our hands. Yeah. It depends on what we decide to do. Mm -hmm. But when we die, then the spirit goes to Him. Whatever He tells the spirit, you don't. You are not in your flesh to say to think whether to do it or not. Oh, no. He says, yeah. "Go, you go." He says, Ben, you Ben. He says, go here, you go here. So he was, he was talking, he was talking, and he left me to come back. And I was like, Jesus, this thing I've seen, there is no way I am going to go back again. Oh, I was righteous for two weeks. One week. <laughs> oh, I was righteous for mm -hmm. one week, two weeks. I went back around. This time around, I went to, I went to the studio and recorded a song called Bugatti Container. So you can imagine you can imagine the lyrics the words in it what is bugatti container <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was so and when i grew in christ i began to know that okay so this is the reason why when people come into christ and you know people mock them and they don't really affirm their love they go back they go back I was yes, going to say do. that because it's like many of us, we just judge people. Um, yes. There was a movie that I watched that um, um, the, the guy was taken to a throne and the throne mm -hmm. the person sitting on was called Wisdom. And the person mm -hmm. said that I'm, t I'm making you sit on this throne to judge. Now, um, there was like a video of everything that was going on. And he's like, no, that person needs to die. That person did that. That person <laughs> don't deserve it. That person. Don't. And, and the wisdom said, okay, now you've judged all this. Now it's my turn to judge you. To judge Do you, you think that these people that, yes, they, they are wrong. They did all that. Do you think that you deserve to have also to, 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 be, to be free because mm. you also are guilty here? So, so, and so, and so. So one of the uh. things that we believers do is when Jesus goes to bring the sheep to us, we have mm. to make sure that we are keeping stay. them stable to stay. We don't have to be the one being judgmental because it takes yeah. time. Like what you saying, it took yeah. when you saw all that, you went back because change yeah, well, is scary. Yes, totally back. Totally. Mm. And some of the things that makes you go back is, especially when you tell your friends, yeah. that is the most important thing. When when God really wants to, when God touches your heart or when you have an encounter with God, mm. he tests your atmosphere. He, he tries to prune your atmosphere, yeah. take some people out of you. Yeah. Because after having the dream, I went, I told uh, one, one friend of mine, um, uh, call me Nazareth. He's, he's, he's a prophet and he's a gospel musician. He was mm. he's a prophet. So, so I told him and he explained it to me. Mm. Uh, you see, so he explained it to me and I understood it. But just that I'm I'm sure I don't know what made me go back again. But mm. this time around, my going back was intense. Yeah. So it was like now I've known the truth, but I am be I'm hardening I'm hardening my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding mm -hmm. in my heart because if you tell this person, oh, forget, oh, there's nothing, it's just a dream. If you tell, oh, there is no God, or this, mm -hmm. this Jesus thing is a fiction. Forget, it is just a dream. Hey, you are just doing love songs. There's no evil, there's no sin in love songs. You oh, are not Solomon cursing. You see, they will give you a lot of reasons. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I, I thank God. It wasn't my strength. It was very tough and difficult. Mm -hmm. Very tough and difficult. Wow, wow. This takes me to what I wanted to ask is, what are some of the virtues you've learned now being a disciple of God? Because there, there is a lot that the world has to offer. 
You know what I'm saying? And then when you mm. come to God, there is a lot that God also has to offer. Now, as God take you through all that process and, and pruning and doing all that, there is lessons that we pick from these seasons. I want to ask what are some of these lessons um, that have become part of you being a disciple of God? Okay, so uh, I'll plead with you to ask the question again. The uh, the network was, oh, okay. was breaking. The video was breaking. So. Can you hear me now? So what I was saying I was, now... now You've, you've been able to go through this. Now God has saved you. Now what are some of the virtues that you've learned through the season of pruning and, and going through the, the, the porter's hand to shape you, to mold you into what he wants you to be? Um, looking at what the world has to offer and what God has to offer. There was a lot of things that you might have learned in this season of you being a disciple of God. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. It is very necessary. And being a disciple of God, I, I, I feel when you read the the book of Acts, chapter one, verses eight, uh, when when Jesus was saying that when when you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and when the Holy Spirit comes on you, it will it will quicken you to to be a disciple to witness Jesus Christ in all the earth. And in all the world so if if jesus is saying witness me then it means that we need to pick uh or or or, or, or exhibit or show the characters of jesus mm -hmm. and galatians chapter 5 verses 22 i love it so much it talks about the fruit of the spirit right. love yeah. patience temperance joy uh, and 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 so on and so on so i feel christians what I have really learned when I started, you know, being in the uh, under the feet of Christ, mm. Christ wants us to to portray Him, to be a portrait of Him, so that when yes. people see us, they will see Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When people see our image, they will see Christ, and yeah. we are the light of the world. So I have mm -hmm. come to understand that okay so if i am the light of the world and christ in me and if the hope is glory then i am set up as the the, the, the bible says uh, uh and we are set a city a city set up well, on the hill, hill can never be hidden so, yeah. so 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 i have to you know portray christ the goodness of christ my character how i relate to people mm -hmm. how i love people mm -hmm. how I, I i i love my neighbor as myself how I serve God, how I worship God, how I take God serious. You see, these all these things, you know, speaks well of us. And, you know, it makes the world know that, okay, when we see this Christian, when we see Mame, we see Christ. When we see Kesi, we see Christ. So it is not just about praying alone. It is not just about speaking in tongues alone. Mm -hmm. It is not just about giving your tithe giving your first fruit it is not just about fasting alone because mm -hmm. paul said it in first corinthians that he, he can fast and pray for mm -hmm. even heaven to come down but if you have no love for your brothers and sisters yes. then you you have done cost 90. Yeah. and two things that jesus really made us understand was love and faith mm -hmm. love and faith mm -hmm. love and faith so i feel i have uh, I, i'm and i'm still learning I'm still learning wow. love to love because if you say you love God and you don't love your brothers and sisters, forget it. You have not mm. done anything. Mm. So love, 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 love. Wow, wow, wow! I've learned a lot from the piece that you just said. That <laughs> that if we do whatever that you go through, that God start to prune you, you become an image of God, and your yes. light has to shine, and people has yes. to see the God that is in you, so that yes. they will come to the God that is in you. So that when the Bible said that ye are let us to be read, it's true because yes. we are to be read by the world to know that yes. hey, if i said that i've left everything I'm, I'm following god what shows that god is in me my words yes. my dress and my the my words. actions yes. my my mindset my decisions how yes. i relate with people she showed that yes. i have god in me and and that is something that is is really profound because we can't just go about saying i'm a christian when nobody can see yes. that you are a mm -hmm. christian um there has to be there has to be some sort of distinction between you and the world what has light got to do with darkness anyway so yeah. that is so profound and i believe that our listeners and our watchers are really taking notes of 
of what mm-hmm. you are talking about. And I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you all for joining us on Afro Sis One for Multimedia. And and this program is called Bronis Quick Word. I am your favorite girl on Human Anama and I'm here with Minister Mike Kesey. Yes, he is I'm star strunk. Like the way I'm talking you can tell. Yeah, he is <laughs> such a great man of God that I really, really reverence and we are talking about um Mike Mike um my story is called uh, how God called him to be who he is now, leaving everything about fame and now following to be a believer of God and preaching the gospel. This man is doing a great job when you get to TikTok. He's preaching and sometimes I'll be like, on that TikTok, I'm, I don't even show show my, my, my profile. I'll be hiding, oh, watching so and listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child of God. <laughs> watch it. I never knew you watch it though. I've been I've, I've been following you for a long time and wow. and listening and studying and some days she will say some of the things I'm like where is this guy getting all this revelation from? And that speak Thank a lot you, on <laughs> That speak a lot from your song. So I want us to go watch the new song. Can I tell you that this song has been my prayer song? Like wow. I play yes, yes, because it breaks you, wow. it makes you be so vulnerable before God. Wow. The Bible said that um, a contrite heart and a broken heart yeah. the Lord will not despair. Yeah, so that that is the song that is is now my my new favorite song for 2024. I yeah, want us to go it, watch yeah, the yeah. song by Minister Mike Kessie that says "Worship Rise." <laughs> I will worship in the morning. I will worship in the evening. I will worship the Lord all my days. I will worship in the morning. I will worship in the evening. I will worship the Lord all my days. I will worship in the midst of my battle. I will worship even when I'm weak. I will worship the Lord all my days. Even when I make it, I will worship. If I don't make it, I will worship I will worship the Lord all my days. The Adosha, let worship be your time. Let worship be your feeling. Let your worship rise to Elohim. Let worship be your time. Let worship be your sacrifice. Let your worship rise to Elohim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let worship be your time. Let worship be your friend. Let your worship rise. To Elohim, let your worship rise. To Elohim, Elohim, let your worship rise. To Elohim. Even with a bad voice, I will worship. 
For in His presence my heart is my worship Worship rise to Elohim. For in his presence our hearts is our worship. Yes. Forget the voice. It is not a voice. <laughs> it is not. It is not. One thing oh, about Jesus. the song is if I make it our worship, if I yes. don't make it our worship. Our Even worship. if I make it our worship. If I don't make it, I will worship. I will worship Elohim all my days. I will worship in the midst of my battles. I will worship even when I win them. Even when I win them, even when I lose them. Yeah. Wow. wow. It, it carries them, I will a lot still of worship things. because ghosts. <laughs> Wow. So this song has been a song that is speaking a lot. You know, mm -hmm. um, as believers, we lose our worship in times of 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 battles. Let me use that word. We lose mm -hmm. our worship and use that time instead of worship to become a time of complaining there is one thing that i yes. i love about david is it, the situation was being rejected in the wilderness but then he had a weapon mm -hmm. which was worship so he said that let yes. let worship be your weapon let your worship yes. be an offering and that that is yes. that carries a lot of weight so i want i want us to yes. just go into this thing because you just don't sit and just write songs what became yes. the inspiration to conceive this and bet for this because words are power and yes. how do you get this word to even put them together to form this song mm -hmm. carry something so i want us to and not just only me, I believe that my viewers and listeners also want to know <laughs> that, yes. boy, what mm. happened? What mm. God does mind to write this heavy, heavy lyrics? God happened. <laughs> God happened. And I, 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 I am so grateful for uh, to God for giving me this powerful song because... Um, all this while, it has been my hard desire to um, use my talent to be of a blessing to people, to revive their hearts and then bring them mm. onto Christ. Mm. And that is what I can also do to help the kingdom of God. Mm. And when you read uh, the book of Romans, Paul says something that the Holy Spirit itself helps our infirmities. Sometimes we don't know what to say. When we are praying, we don't know what to pray about. Yeah. The same thing if we are worshiping, we don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. And if you indeed worship from your heart, the Holy Spirit himself, he's, he's a kind spirit to the extent that he gives you what to say to say to God. Yeah. I, I don't know if you get it. I he, get it perfectly. He, he kind of gives you what to say because mm -hmm. if we are being left to say what we will need to say to God, in, oh God, I love you so much. God, give me a car. God, mm -hmm. I love you so much. Oh God, my bills, my mm -hmm. rent. Mm -hmm. So he fixed his word because he yeah. is the knowledge of God. So he fixed what God wants to hear from mm. us. And he's so powerful to the extent that sometimes I sit down and I listen to this worship rise and I'm like, where did I get this lyrics from? Wow. This is not my guessing. Wow. This is not me. Mm. If you go, if, if I pick my vocabs and I pick my reps, this is way different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it came out of a place of prayer. Mm. I was fellowshipping and this, 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 this melody just came. Mm. And I wrote it as how I heard it. This wow. wasn't a song that I sat down and I, I put pen, of pe pen and paper and I wrote it. It mm. came straight from the Holy Spirit. And I, I am so much grateful to God. Wow. It has nothing to do with me at all. 
Wow, one thing that I love is you you give back the glory. Like I don't yes. I can keep it. I'm not sharing it. And that's one thing about worship and being a worshiper is you not as using the glory of God by just giving it back to just him. Step aside. And step aside. And one thing that I've, these days, one, one of the worst or one of the same things that I've learned to talk about is, I'm not, God, I don't, I'm, I'm not speaking English. I want to speak yes. from your spirit. If you leave yes. me, I will speak English and I'll speak of, of what I want to show off. But then mm-hmm. I want to be at your presence just to be vulnerable. And I love mm-hmm. how this song is, yes. it makes you so vulnerable. If I win mm. it, fine. Mm. If I lose it, fine. But then yes. I just want to worship you because your word said that uh, in everything, give thanks to the Lord. In everything. Yes. Let him yes. order your step. In everything, acknowledge him. Mm. So I will acknowledge you even if I don't have it. So one yes. of the things that is it's like, I've, I, to be told, this song has made me change the way I pray. Because wow. before, yes, before my prayer, I, I I have a way of praying that that makes you look like this girl can pray, mm-hmm. you know. But then there's been countless times that I've gone to the presence of God playing this song that I'm like, I'm done being the Sohima in your presence that I feel like I got mm-hmm. it all together. Mm-hmm. I just want to be... If I have it, if no. I don't, if I make no. it, if I don't, if I see no. it, if I don't, let just your will no. be done. Just just yes. be the God that you are, you know? Yes. So I just pray that everybody will will go to the YouTube because this song came out like two weeks ago, the video. But this song has yeah. been in the system for about some time. Yeah. I want you to just, you yeah. know, I'm just excited talking about this song because this song has been my, <laughs> my, my anthem, you know? So can you tell people <laughs> about this song, where to get it? Okay, so Worship Rise, I released it on 29th of November last year, which happened to be my birthday. And uh, I released the video to last week, Friday, and it's doing so well. This is this is a project that God, uh, 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 God's hands is upon. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's so great and it's so big. Mm-hmm. And it's on YouTube. You can go on YouTube. My channel is Mike Kessy. You get it. Make sure you share it. The more you share and people listen to it, you know, you are blessed by listening to it. Let others too also be blessed by listening to it. So Mike Kessy on YouTube, it's on all the digital uh, platforms. Mm-hmm. You can get it on, uh, on iTunes. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Deezer, Spotify, everywhere. But YouTube is where the video is. So go on YouTube, watch it, stream it as many as you can watch. Watch it. Watch, watch it. it as many times as you can watch it. Just watch it. If if you you ju- if you think you can just watch the video, just let it play. You know, sometimes you have to let the music enter you and not even yes. be so focused about the visuals. Like, yes. Just let the words enter you. When it enters you, it tears something up in you. So mm. go to um, YouTube, my Cassie, and download, um, stream it, share it, share the link to your friends, invite people to just be like, oh, I've met, I've, I've just um, discovered this song. Go and go listen. There are people that um, on TikTok, they just make a, a list of worship songs that you can listen yeah. to. You can also do that for your friends uh, and followers so that they can know that this is a prayer song that they can also um, get hooked up on and it will be a blessing unto them. On this note, um, Minister Mike Kessie, I want us yes. to get into this. Can Do you have any advice for the young ones? When it comes to fame, when it comes to knowing your purpose in God, and when you when it comes to being aligned with with the will of God, is there any advice you can give us, we the babies that we hear, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> Two things I'll say. I'll 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 talk about like I'll give a general advice, and I'll again talk to 
my fellow uh, gospel ministers. Mm -hmm. The first thing is uh, when we talk about fame, make sure that you are too popular in Christ. Mm -hmm. Because when you are popular in this world, you will tend to please people. But when you are popular in Christ, you will please Christ and you know it will, it will show in the lives of people. Mm. And um, secondly, to I want my fellow gospel ministers to know that work on yourself, allow the Holy Spirit to work on you, to 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 increase you in in with His strength to the extent that when people invite you for you to perform on their programs, it shouldn't just be that they watched how energetic you were, mm. or it shouldn't be that. They, they loved how your voice was, mm -hmm. but it should it should be about the anointing because mm -hmm. we as 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 gospel ministers it is it is a, it is a mandate it is a month it is a calling we are supposed to sing for the dead to wake up we are supposed to sing for the deaf to hear yeah. we are supposed to sing for the lame you know we 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 are not supposed to sing to entertain people alone mm -mm. it is fine. Mm -hmm. But we should sing for you know the fibros to melt. We should sing mm. for the barren, their their, their their womb to open. That is that is the focus. That is the focus. So we should invest time in our work with God, mm. not invest the time in studios alone. Mm. Invest time, your private time. Invest time with God. Invest time with God. Your private time. Invest time with God. I want. I want to take this opportunity to also um, ask you to have an altar call yes. for the young ones. Yes. They have yes. seen you be on different platforms. Mm -hmm. Some are battling with the choice of staying in God or going back. Mm -hmm. Others want to just stay because it's nice. It's, it's mm -hmm. so so cool like let me use that word mm -hmm. and and they are torn between the will of god and purpose of god for them i want you to use this time to have an altar call for anybody that yes. has seen you and notice what yes. god is doing in your life that want mm. to make a bold step and accepting the jesus you are preaching about and also yes. be in alignment with this jesus that can change and turn things around. Um, the Bible says, and um, when Jesus met the, the the Samaritan woman at the well, he said that if you know who stands before you, you will just ask that he will give you this water that you will never test again. So just yeah. just step into your priesthood um, position and um, invite yes. somebody to Christ. We thank God. Father, we honor you. Thank you for this great opportunity. This is the biggest uh, uh, opportunity I've had ever in my life that money cannot buy. That money cannot buy. And um, I want to let everyone, those of you watching right now, to, to know that um, there is nothing too hard for God. The Bible says that in, in Isaiah chapter 10, verses 27, that he because of the um, because of the anointing he's going to take off every show every every bedding of our shoulder and break every yoke around our neck i just want you to know that there is no sin that you feel you have committed that god is not capable of forgiving you mm. there is no sin at all no there sin. is no sin at all mm. so do not condemn yourself the bible says that john 3 16 for god so loved the world he didn't say god so loved christians alone for jesus said in his own words that he came for the sick people he came for me and you the sick people so wherever you are if you are condemning yourself there is jesus who never condemned but he came so that me and you we will have life so wherever you are no matter what you have done see nobody is watching you it is you and jesus mm. the bible says that there are two appoint appointments on earth for yeah. us to die and for judgment mm. so if you have not taken jesus as your lord and personal savior you are part of this prayer even if you've taken him as your lord and personal savior and your walk with god a two picture mm -hmm. your, your fire has grown cold renew your strength again with jesus just yes. say after me that dear Dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe you came on this earth to die for my iniquities, to die for my sins. I believe you came on this earth to die for my iniquities and die for my sin. I confess my sins. 
this evening and I take you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and personal Savior. I confess my sins this evening and I take you, Jesus, as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and abide into my heart now and forevermore. Come and abide into my heart now and forevermore. I take you as my Lord and personal Savior once again and help me, Holy Spirit. Spirit to live the rest of my so if you just said this prayer is so short but powerful yeah. that is the work of the Holy Spirit he's yeah. such a gentle spirit yeah. it's so short but powerful mm -hmm. find a Bible believing church mm -hmm. church that they believe in Jesus mm -hmm. church that they believe in the Holy Spirit and uh, this platform too is a powerful platform you can send your comments you can DM this very platform send your request but talk to them. Talk to them. You can also follow me on Facebook. My handle is my Kesi on TikTok. My handle is my Kesi. If you set this prayer, follow this platform and reach out to, to them. We'll also reach out to you and we will lead you into Christ, you know, into the the next level, the different level in Christ. So nothing is too hard for God to do. Nothing is so hard for God to do. Believe in him and your life will never be the same. Nobody encounters God and remain the same. Yeah. God loves you and God bless you. Oh God, glory, glory, glory. Thank you so much, Minister yes. Cassie. I'm so grateful that you come so here to pour your heart out and to also be a vessel of honor unto the Lord. Um, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for even accepting the invitation to be on this platform. Um, I want to say thank you all for joining us and being a part of this session tonight. Um, I am so grateful that God has, has given us this opportunity to even be voices for his kingdom, to be able to also bring the voice of people to be on this platform. This is Afro Sister and Four Multimedia, the Purpose Heart, and this program is called Bronis Quick Word. I am your host, Ohimana Nama. Um, you can follow me on Bronis Quick Word on Facebook. Um, Instagram is um, at Ohimana Nama. Um, um, I believe TikTok is on him and Anama, and also my personal Facebook is on him and Anama. Thank you so much for joining. I'll be here with you next week, Sunday. I am hosting a great man of God that I really appreciate and love so much. He has been a blessing in so many ways from afar, even though I'm not very, very closer to him he has been such a blessing to me um i'm going to host um, apostle i'm going to host apostle um prince prince judah i'm going to host apostle judah um here this week next week sunday and we'll be talking about the spirit of excellence the spirit of excellence sorry apostle david judah what did why did I suffer some praise? Oh, yeah, my pastor is Apostle Praise. <laughs> Apostle David Judah. He is the GO of Vintage Grand Worldwide in Columbus, Ohio. Here, we're talking about the spirit of excellence. So, make a date with us on Afro 614 and Bronis Quick Red. See you next time. May God bless you. And remember, you are the salt of the earth. When you lose your yeah. taste, you will be trembled upon. And and remember, you are the light of the earth. Your light needs to shine before men that they will see the glory of the Lord in you. Stay blessed and I love you so much. Bye-bye.